Hey everyone, it's another beautiful day here in Dunmore East. It's easy knowing that I'm about to go on holidays, isn't it? Because, yes, I'm just really happy. <laughs> so, okay, so it's Wednesday, it's Ask Finola How, and here's a great question. They're always great questions, but you know, here's great questions. Should I plan all my marketing before I go away on holiday? Is it okay not to post on social media while I'm away or will I lose the momentum? This is episode 44 and this week's Real Questions from Real Entrepreneurs, which we love. Please send them in. <laughs> so, okay. So, yeah, we're all going into holiday mode now. And that is the big question of the moment, which is, do I just stop everything, lose momentum, or do I frantically go around and try to prepare and have something scheduled in advance? So either is actually up to you. So there's two approaches. Obviously, one, you decide I'm just going to have nothing happening in my social media challenge, uh, channels while I'm gone. Or you take the view of, no, I'm going to um, have it all planned out. And I think that... You have to make that decision, but all the only decision you have to make is how to communicate that decision. OK, so you can decide I'm just not doing anything. I don't want to have any interaction with anybody because I'm just I just need the break. If that's the case, then post in your social media channels, a video, a beautifully designed post. Um, don't do a, don't do a crappy design post. Always do a really nicely, the best of your ability designed post that says it's holiday time, I'm taking off and I we're taking a break and I'm gonna see you when I come back and just tell them when you're back and um, wish everybody well. And you know what, it's a really good thing to do. It's a really positive thing to do because it affirms this idea that we have to have balance in our lives, harmony in our lives. So therefore it's time to have a break. And it's a really nice message to go, to send out to the marketplace. So it's constructive, it's, um, you are engaging with your customers, it will really work. So that is one very viable option, okay? If you do that, then head off on your holiday and have the best time ever. If you are in the middle of a process where you are growing your audience, you're wanting to make sure you're you know, fully present with your audience and regularly in their feeds and it's something really important to you, then my advice then is to actually explore seeing what you can schedule out in advance so that you don't lose momentum because the reality is you will lose some momentum if you stop short that is a reality if you're only going for two weeks it's okay you know what i mean like we lost i lost my original instagram account as you know uh, my own personal account and i had to come back from zero so you can always come back from zero you know but, you know, it's often better not to have to. So if you decide, no, you know what? I'm going to try and schedule this all out in advance. How the hell do I do that? So if you decide to go that route, which is actually the route that we're deciding to go with, uh, with How Great Marketing Works and with my own feed and through all my own channels, we are actually doing that process. And But still, I am taking a break because we all need to have that break. So we will be very open and honest that some of the stuff in the next couple of weeks, I will actually pre-record the Ask Finola House. We know what the, the, the next few weeks of uh, questions are and I'll pre-record them. In fact, I'll probably pre-record them today. So, so let's move into this space where you are scheduling it out so that you don't lose momentum, okay? So some tips for you on this, okay? One of the first things I think about, and we do this in the Get Strategic uh, program, which is layering all of your, your uh, social media, your content, creating content layers. And with content layers, you give yourself the freedom of creating batches. So for example, some of the content layers that I would have in my personal feed, a content layer is going to be the podcast. So obviously I've spent the last number of weeks pre-recording, or sorry, recording the uh, podcast so that I have a batch ahead of time already done and they will actually be released on schedule every Tuesday morning through my own feed with the social media pre-schedules out. That's one layer. So my tip for you first is, depends on how organized you are in your social media, but 
start to get organized. If you want stuff being released while you're gone, you need to be really organized and really thinking about what are the areas that I need to have a presence in, okay? So figure out in your, if you don't have any layers, this is what I mean by layers, okay? And I think we did an episode on this before and I'll point back to it if I can remember which episode it was. But when you think about what you want to communicate to your customer, the most effective way of doing that is to figure out the different points you need to touch in terms of your messaging for each of your customers and you build that around a layer, okay? So one layer for me is podcast episodes. I want to have interesting conversations with uh, entrepreneurs who have taken this journey and taken it really successful and the insights that they have. And that feeds directly into my whole premises of know the journey before you take it. So I'm sharing the journeys of other entrepreneurs through the podcast. That's a layer for my message. It's that layer of know the journey before you take it. That's one layer. And as I said, I've just batched that. So everything is batched and it's in a scheduler and off it goes. There's another layer, which is testimonials. Everyone has a layer. So get a batch of testimonials and have them released once a week or once every two weeks while you're gone. Another batch can be um, the Ask Vanola House. What I'm doing is in the Make It Bite Size Instagram, I will pre-record the next four questions because I'm away for a month and I'll pre-record that and they'll be released and that will feed the YouTube channel and everything else. It's a little bit of hard work and a little bit of planning, but when you know these key layers that you have in your content that resonates with your audience and fulfills that tick box of what you want to be known for, that's what will work. So build out your layers and batch your layers. That's the next step. So one step number one is to make the decision. Are you going to take a whole hiatus and just need to communicate it? Step, the other option is to schedule it all out. The most effective way of scheduling all that out is to figure out your layers so you are free to create batches of content in each of those layers, okay? So in terms of batching, so as batching is this wonderful way of, you know, re repeating the same types of content so, you know, for example, if you have a testimonial of a certain style in Canva, you just go, you know, you duplicate the style, replace it with a different person's name, a different testimonial that you've got, and then stick it in your scheduler. Batching frees you up. One of the most difficult things when you're creating content is context switching, which is going from one idea to the next, to the next, to the next. It's creating one-off posts. They don't work or, well, they do work, but they're extremely time consuming and very hard for you to scale. So if you ring fence stuff and layer each of your different types of content, it makes it easier for you to batch and release it. OK, and you release it using a scheduler. Now, loads of different types of schedulers. Schedulers that I have used before, I've used Hootsuite, I've used, I use currently uh, Agora Pulse. We also use Content Cal in a couple of situations. We're actually using Content Cal because of a difficulty around when we were hacked. That's the reason why we've had to have two schedulers. So that's difficult. If you're starting out, Buffer, fantastic. It's what I started out with and it's a really good way of doing your scheduler. So embrace scheduling and get a really good scheduler and then release it in your, um, in your app, release your layers in your app. So for example, I can in Agora Pulse set up each of these things as batches. I have a category called podcast episode and it has a slot that's every Tuesday at 7 a.m. The podcast episode gets released. So every time we have um, a new social media piece that's around the promotion of that, it just goes into that category and it's queued. That's the beauty of the scheduler. It allows you to queue up stuff. So when you batch, you immediately go to queuing and it fills the queue and you are ahead of time, okay? This is how it will work. The other thing is, I've also created spaces in my scheduler in these kind of queues, so for human posts. And this you can do all the time. So for example, you might not know, you might see something when you're on holidays if you're deciding to do a little bit of posting, but you're not going to be over-reliant on it. If I see something when I'm away that I'd like to share with you, like maybe it's a really good uh, picture of me swimming, because you know how much I love the swimming, uh, maybe it's a picture of some form of marketing that I've found inspirational. Maybe and I'll do that. 
So I have a slot that doesn't mess with my feed, doesn't mess with the content of my feed in terms of context. So I just feed, so I call it my category, I call it my living life category. So it could be an I selfie of me. I did one recently of me with my mom because it was her 80th birthday yesterday. And those go into those slots, living life slots. There's also slots that are for campaign launches that you only use at certain times in the year. There can be the everyday promo, can be another category or another layer of your content. So try out all of these and doing it this way helps you have this process that makes life easy for you and can have a queued up for the entire time that you're gone. It's completely possible. In terms of when you should start doing all this, it's kind of good to do this anyway, to give yourself always have a lead time, always have you know, time ahead for yourself. Uh, but if you're starting from zero, you need to give yourself at least two weeks to create the batches to make sure that you're really thinking through all the content that you want releasing. So two weeks is a good for, time frame for you. Uh, the next thing that I would think about is if you have a team around you that help you, and I do, and I have them for different things, aspects on it. Like, so I have Brian who helps me with the podcast production. I have Megan who helps me with the lease of that. Lenka helps me with other stuff. So you have different people who have different roles in your team. Ask them to help you maybe spend a little bit more time with you this time during this period while you're on holidays. And I've asked my team and they've all said, of course, Fanola, of course, we'll help you with this because we want you to have a break too. So ask for spend a little bit more money or spend a little bit more time with your team so they can help you out in this period of time when you're on holiday. Uh, it's doable. It's really important you take a break. It's don't do any form of heavy kind of full on posting that's heavy content while you're away. It's I advocate you have the break, take the rest. It's important. It's where the ideas will happen. And I'm actually going to do that for next week's episode of how to switch off. And you know, I'm not perfect at this, but I know I'm creating rules for myself as the days have gone by. And even realizing that I could ask for a little bit of extra help has taken a load off of me that makes will make sure that I really relax and have some really good family time. And that's important. Allow the creative juices to come. Allow your body to relax, your mind to relax, so that when you come back, you are fully rested and we'll just be ready to go for it when you come back. And I'll be here waiting to help you. That has been Ask Finola How with a slightly different vibe because I'm gone into holiday mode, guys. And it has been episode 44. Have a great day. I will. The countdown has begun. Take care. <laughs>